Welcome to the vibrant city of Milan, Italy's fashion and design capital. Nestled in the heart of the Lombardy district, Milano is a curious blend of the historic and contemporary. Whether you love fashion, history or food, we'll take you on a journey via bars, restaurants, canal side hangouts, enchanting attractions and hidden gems to help you make the most of your unforgettable adventure in this cosmopolitan metropolis. Here are the top 10 things to do in Milan. Milan is Italy's capital of shopping and there's no better place to shop than here, Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II, Italy's oldest active shopping gallery. Under its ornate glass ceiling, you can walk on the marble mosaic floor to designer shops including Gucci, the original Prada and Louis Vuitton. And how to access this beautiful building? The gallery lies on the Piazza della Scala, a busy central square that connects the Teatro alla Scala, Italy's famous opera house, and Duomo. It's the perfect place to relax with a sorbet. Oh, you want one of those? Visit the prestigious Savini restaurant, also seen in the House of Gucci film. Trust us, it's truly amazing. If sorbet is not your thing, they also have amazing cake shops. Once you're done here, you've only to walk meters to arrive at Milan's most famous landmark. Walking out of the shopping gallery brings you to Piazza del Duomo, where the towering church that took 600 years to be completed is the center of attention. You can watch pigeons or dogs frolic in the square surrounded by tourists. The panoramic views from here are stunning. Like in Venice's Piazza San Marco, the square features many arcades crammed full of restaurants, bars, clothing and coffee shops. Perfect for people watching. Let's go on an adventure. Walk down into the metro, purchase your ticket, just over two euros, catch the M1, the red line, then change at Cadorna for the M2, the green line. You'll come out at Porta Genova, the bohemian quarter of Milan. Stop at Latte Neve for amazing vegan ice cream, then all along Via Vigevano, perhaps stopping at one of the vintage clove shops. Then the bustling Via Corsico with its hipster bars and music shops. Here you reach Navigli. Once upon a time, like Venice, Milan was connected by a series of canals. Now though, life around the remaining two canals is thriving. The main waterway here is Darsena, and what better way to soak up the atmosphere than here? Its namesake, Darsena Craft Beer, the exposed brickwork, tavern-style design, outstanding collection of craft beer, or even the winding staircase leading to the toilets. You can sit outside with a Negroni, or even head to the many other bars along the water. Here is life in Milan like you've never known it. Beautiful. Ah, Milan's historic tram system. Dating back to the 1920s, the tram system is also one of the largest in the world. Utterly charming and a must try whenever you're in the city. Jump off with us at the next stop, Chinatown. Via Paolo Sarpi, the main street of Milano's Chinatown. We tried fried skewers, a place serving kebabs flash fried and dipped in Szechuan sauce. Starting from just one euro each, then take them to the counter along with your drink and do some street side people watching until you're buzzed, then dive in. Wash down the spicy food with a drink 
at Cantine Isola del 1896, a wine shop can bar with a huge selection of global wines. Milan's Metro Network. The subway system consists of five different lines, open seven days a week and all night on Friday and Saturday. Milan's not a huge city, but it is spread out, so the metro is essential. Join us at Sondrio on the yellow M3 line as we make our way to our next destination. We have a feeling you may like this one. Yes, Milan's infamous San Siro Stadium. If you're arriving via Metro, the stadium even has its own stop. And that moment when you step out of the stadium is a magical feeling. The first thing you'll notice is the ground's brutalist design of reinforced concrete and distinctive horizontal bands. If visiting the shop, enter via gate 14. Uniquely, San Siro is the home ground of both AC Milan and Inter Milan. You'll notice the club shop is split into two, the red and black of AC Milan and the blue and black of Inter Milan. San Siro Stadium has a rich history and is one of the most famous football stadiums in the world. With plans drawn up for a new stadium, try to visit while you can. Welcome to Hipster Isola, a thriving Milanese neighbourhood known for its distinctive artwork. It's an area popular with artists, young professionals and creatives here for the art galleries, trendy cafes and restaurants. Perhaps the most well-known building is this, the Bosco Vertical or Vertical Forest, a residential complex covered with over 20,000 trees and plants. Be sure to stop at a few of the bars for cocktails and just watching the world go by, or simply enjoy a stroll in Milan's coolest neighbourhood. We visited on a national holiday, so it was quiet, just local dogs out on a stroll. Oh look, there's another one. For you jazz lovers, there's even a Blue Note, a second branch of New York's famous jazz bar. We then came across an amazing lunch spot called Organic Pizza and Food, a restaurant with friendly service and outstanding food. There's many exciting dishes, such as green risotto, a vegan burger, and of course, pizza. We sat in the beautiful garden area and had the gnocchi, the tomato, olive, and spinach pizza, followed by this incredible fruit salad. Trust me, it really was that good. Hungry again already? Let's go and grab some aperitivo. Scan through any bar menu in Milan and there's one thing they're not telling you. Accompanying your drink will be a fine array of snacks including bruschetta, focaccia, olive, crisps and even pizza. So you can sip on your Aperol Spritz or Crodino, munching your way through a selection of delicious Milanese snacks, completely free of charge. We'll cheers to that. And trying a food you don't recognise? Well, it's all part of the fun. Just don't take any home for later. Time for another drink? Ahead of a cosy, albeit rainy, night in. We arrive at our final stop. In the centre of Milan, amazingly, lies a huge fortress. Built in the 15th century, the castle is a must visit, be it for its beautiful gardens or impressive architecture, or simply for the novelty of it. And now, 
The night is young. Back to Navigli, we think, for late night drinks before our flight in the morning. In our next adventure, we leave Milan for the beautiful Lake Como and the little village of Brunate. Look at those incredible views. Music